Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today's reading from the Word of God teaches us that prayer is not just about asking. Prayer is about entrusting. And so to prepare ourselves to entrust our petitions and intentions in this Holy Mass. Let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, you healed the sick. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgave sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who in the abundance of your kindness surpass the merits and the desires of those who entreat you, Pour out your mercy upon us to pardon what conscience dreads and to give what prayer does not dare to ask. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, 
God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. O stupid Galatians, who has bewitched you, before whose eyes Jesus Christ was publicly portrayed as crucified. I want to learn only this from you. Did you receive the Spirit from works of the law or from faith in what you heard? Are you so stupid? After beginning with the Spirit, are you now ending with the flesh? Did you experience so many things in vain? If indeed it was in vain. Thus then the one who supplies the Spirit to you and works mighty deeds among you, do so from works of the law or from faith in what you heard. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people. Please stand. Open our hearts, O Lord, and listen to the words of your Son. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Suppose one of you has a friend to whom he goes at midnight and says, Friend, lend me three loaves of bread. For a friend of mine has arrived at my house from a journey, and I have nothing to offer him. And he says in reply from within, Do not bother me. The door has already been locked, and my children and I are already in bed. I cannot get up to give you anything. I tell you, if he does not get up to give him the loaves because of their friendship, he will get up to give him whatever he needs because of his persistence. And I tell you, ask and you will receive. Seek and you will find. 
knock and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives, and the one who seeks finds, and to the one who knocks, the door will be opened. What father among you would hand his son a snake when he asks for a fish, or hand him a scorpion when he asks for an egg? If you then who are wicked know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will the Father in heaven give the Holy Spirit to those who ask Him? Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, who is working during prayer? Sino nga ba ang kumikilos tuwing tayo'y nagdarasal at nananalangin? Who is working in prayer? In our gospel reading today, although Jesus teaches us to be persistent in prayer, Jesus also reminds us that prayer is not our work. Prayer is God's work. And it is God who is working Whenever we pray, paalala po sa atin ni Jesus, sa panalangin, hindi lamang po tayo ang kumikilos. Ang Diyos ang kumikilos sa panalangin at pagdarasal. That is why the image used by Jesus in the Gospel reading is this. We just ask, but it is God who gives. We just seek, but it is God who grants. We just knock at the door, but it is God who opens the door. Prayer is not our work. Prayer is God's work. And it is God working whenever we pray. Kumakatok lamang po tayo sa pinto, pero si Jesus ang nagbubukas nito para papasukin tayo. Humihingi lamang tayo, pero ang Diyos ang nagbibigay at nagkakaloob. Kaya wag nating kalilimutan Tuwing nagdarasal tayo, kumikilos ang Diyos. Baka kasi akala natin kapag nagdarasal tayo, tayo lang ang sige ng kumikilos. Pero nakakalimutan natin at madalas hindi natin napapansin ang Diyos ang kumikilos tuwing tayo ay nagdarasal. One time, I was asked, to when I was a newly ordained priest nine years ago, I was asked to do a an emergency baptism for a small baby in a hospital. Sabi nila, Father, delikado po yung buhay nung bata, kaya nag-request ng emergency baptism. So I went to the hospital and I saw a very small baby, I think just seven months. When she was uh, uh, born, and she is inside an incubator, very sick baby. So immediately, I performed emergency baptism. She was not able to go out of the incubator, so I just inserted my hand and put a small drop of water towards her head. 
you know, a few Sundays ago, someone was looking for me here. The mother said, I was the one who baptized that baby. So I met them, and that was the baby. She is already nine years old. And when I saw her, she embraced me, no? as if uh, kilala niya talaga ako, na ako yung nagbinyag sa kanya. She was so happy to meet me. You know, it was nine years ago, I have already forgotten it. I just entrusted it to God. And for nine years, it was God who was working. My dear brothers and sisters, prayer is entrusting to God. Because in prayer, it is not us who works. It is God working. That is why in our first reading today from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians, he was emphatically explaining to the Galatians the importance of faith over the works of the law. Trusting not in ourselves, but trusting in God. Because in prayer, it is not really about what we can do. Prayer is always about what God can do for you. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, as we continue our prayer in this celebration of the Mass, let us remember that it is not us working in this Mass. It is not you who are reading. It is not I who is offering this Mass. It is always Jesus. And whenever you offer your prayers in this Mass, it is not I who lift all of this up to the Father. It is always Jesus working in prayer. Sa patuloy po nating pagdarasal sa misang ito, tandaan po natin, kumikilos ang Diyos. Bagaman hindi natin nakikita, bagaman madalas hindi natin napapansin, Tandaan natin ng turo ni Jesus, tuwing tayo'y magdarasal, ang Diyos ang kumikilos. Amen. Please stand. Christ makes a promise. Ask and it will be given to you. Let us now come to our Heavenly Father with trust and confidence. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That as a church, we may be committed to a sincere and deep life of prayer. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that active people may learn to integrate prayer in their work, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may persist in prayer, no matter how discouraged we may be by life's misfortunes, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick may unite their prayers and sacrifices with Christ's suffering, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the faithful departed may be raised up with Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty God, you are generous beyond our imagination and in ways we do not understand. Hear the prayers we offer. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His Holy Church. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the sacrifices instituted by your commands, and through the sacred mysteries which we celebrate with dutiful service, graciously complete the sanctifying work by which you are pleased to redeem us. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift. Since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim, Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of His death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who, who art, art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy, thy will be done, done on earth as it, as it is in, in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you. My peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. Grant us, Almighty God, that we may be refreshed and nourished by the sacrament which we have received, so as to be transformed into what we consume. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Yeah.